Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning on the May Currently page from my mini happy planner. Um, I don't really like how the um, page is laid out, so I always kind of just transform it to make it my own. And I don't use these journaling cards um, at all, so I figured I could use it on this spread. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take this one and probably lay it at the... I think I'm gonna lay it at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up here and I'm just gonna make a little mark where I need to cut it on this side. So cut there. I thought these colors um, match the best with this blue color that's around the page. So what I'm gonna do is just take my paper cutter and cut this down. All right, and then I'm going to use my double-sided tape runner to put it down on the page. I'm trying to get it as close to the edge as I can so that it doesn't lift up anywhere. And then I'm just gonna line it up at the bottom it's actually a little bit too wide, but that's okay. And it's not quite over far enough. And hopefully, oh, it's gonna rip the page. This always happens to me. All right, you know what? It's gonna have to stay there. I'm not really in love with that at all now. All right, and this one I'm going to take and actually what I might do now, because I messed up this side of the page, <laughs> is what I might do is I might change the whole direction of this. And I'm just gonna eyeball this one because it's only gonna go on half of the page. So I think that I actually wanna leave a little bit of this um, border on it. I'm not sure, so let me see how it looks. Yeah, I think it looks better leaving a little bit of the border on. So let me put this out of the way. And I think what I'm gonna do now, like I said, since I messed this side up a little bit, is I'm just gonna take this and put it on this side of the page. So it covers up that area that's a little too noticeable for me. There, I think that looks cute. Um, and then what I may do later is take a ruler and just cut off that little sliver that's hanging over because that will probably annoy me. So I feel like I just might as well go ahead and put another one of these journaling cards on here. <clears throat> I keep these separate. Um, I took the, the accessory packs apart and I just keep them separate. Uh, I just like it that way. It looks pretty cool to me. Um, stored that way. <clears throat> and it's a little bit easier to store them versus that whole long pack. So I don't know if I want to... I don't know how I want to do this now. <clears throat> what I may do is just put this grid paper up here to just even out the spread. So, because this is like a little raised now. So if I put stickers down, it's still gonna feel a little bit raised. So let me cut this. I need to cut it just past that little line right there. Let's do that. So it's just past the second line. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And actually what I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to uh, just leave my paper there and lift this up a little bit and put some tape runner down and that way 
this stays in place and I don't have to worry about it being crooked because I can't lay it down straight. So I saw Kim over at Memories and Time. She did this on her dashboard layout and I thought it would be cute to do it on my currently page since I try to make it <clears throat> really unique and different anyway. So I thought what I might do is I use this page to track um, just like goals and I also, even though I have a separate page for it, I still um, like to have like my YouTube subscribers and my Instagram subscribers. I like to put those um, on this page also. So I think I like this quote a lot, a sticker. So I think I'm gonna put this here. And then I feel like I'm just gonna leave that as it is, but what I might do is put just maybe a couple of these little boxes and like one could be for YouTube and one could be for my Instagram and that I would just put my subscriber count on one and my follower count on the other. Let's see if there's another type of that box. I wasn't really a big fan of the other one that was left there. So let's see. Actually what I could do, I think it might be really cute to <clears throat> put these little hexagons instead. So I'm going to take this up and I'll put it back in the book in a minute. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these hexagons and I'm going to put three of them and I'll figure out something to put in the last one. And I think I want to put a pink one, a black one. It's not really straight. Okay, so a pink one, a black one, and a purple one. And then I'll find like a little label that's, let's see could put this here to kind of cover up that seam. So I'll do a teal one. And I'll just write in there like social media stats or something like that. So social media stats. And I feel like something needs to go at the bottom. <clears throat> but then again, I mean, I'm covering up all those sunglasses, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'll put this kill in it sticker down here. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to, I don't think I want to cover up any more of those sunglasses. All right, let's see what else is here. Maybe I'll put this just a girl with goals. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it up here as sort of like just a little header. Something needs to go here. It'll probably be a big box sticker. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this up. I don't like the fact that all of the sunglasses are kind of hidden now. So I'm just going to put them down like this and it will take care of sort of covering up some of this blank space down here and also still leaving uh, a lot of the sunglasses showing. I sort of want, um, I sort of want another functional sticker up there, but Maybe I'll put this up here and this will be for 
Um, this will be like for my monthly sort of like main checklist in terms of like things that I want to get done. And I think that I'll put this here for maybe some social media goals. Because I always put my goals on or for my social media on this page too. So maybe over here we could put like a couple of these coffee cups. I think that would look cute. The pink one and the black one. And then I feel like maybe I need to take this up if it'll, if it will come up and just center it a little bit so that it is not so off now. Um, so let's see if it will come up. If it starts to rip, then I'm just going to leave it. And I'll figure out what to do from there. But it looks like it might come up. Yay. Okay. So yeah, basically I'm just going to center this. And I think that I will be done. There we go. I'm going to put it back in my planner. I think it looks super cute. Um, I'm just gonna, I might go back in and maybe like put April or something right here. I'm not sure. Or I may just leave it as it is. But I think it looks really cute. This is my last month's currently page. And then I don't have the month before in here. But yeah, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you and we'll see you in the next one.